Thanks for joining us. Those six heroin overdoses last Saturday involving five men and one woman left two people dead and one in critical condition. Investigators think the cases could be connected to a single source of the drug that was either tainted or super potent. The rash of overdoses comes less than two weeks after Anoka County announced it's receiving a federal grant to launch a new drug court in November and expand its veterans treatment court. CTN's Jordan Rylance has the story. Heroin overdoses 10 years ago were unheard of. Six heroin overdoses in one morning, all in Anoka County. It's a very uncommon and it's, you know, very troubling to see that many overdoses, especially two involving death, come in that quickly in that short of a span of time. The use of an opiate antidote just recently introduced to paramedics and EMTs has been credited for saving lives all over the country, including here in Anoka County. I know that Narcan was used on, on several of the cases by paramedics and that that, you know, no doubt played a major role in that in those overdoses being recoverable. Now Anoka County is doing something to curb drug use and recidivism, drug court. We started the looking at drug court as an alternative to not only save the community money, which it does, but also to actually um, have people who have an extensive history in drug use, where it's impacted them to the level where they're involved with the court system, and to give them a meaningful second chance. The drug court is funded through a three-year federal grant. When those three years are up, officials hope to continue the program through community support, state, and national grants. The first goal is sobriety. That's all we're focusing on. Once we achieve sobriety, we work on mental health issues. We work on transportation. We work on employment. We work on education. They cannot graduate the program without a GED or the equivalent. The program is expected to last 18 months for each participant. Program officials anticipate serving 25 to 30 people at a given time and between 50 to 60 people during the three-year grant. The first drug court in Anoka County will be held November 10th. In Anoka, Jordan Rylance, CTN News. The 10th Judicial District, which includes Anoka County, is the only district in Minnesota that currently does not have a drug court. The three-year federal grant is worth $350,000. Also, the county is getting another $300,000 to expand its veterans treatment court to include more participants. 